Hi, this is Daniel Sellers, and I'm bringing you another tutorial and a series of tutorials on how to make best use of your Mac. Some simple tips, some complex tips, but I am just gradually bringing them together. Feel free to visit me at DanielSellers.com or for any feedback, um, any questions, Daniel at DanielSellers.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And this tip for today is for uh, if you are using iTunes and you want to have a separate, complete iTunes library from someone that is using your same user account. Uh, a lot of cases, uh, this can be um, quite handy. Uh, let's say that uh, my wife and I want to have two different iTunes libraries. Uh, we can still have the same Apple ID, uh, but we want to, we just listen to different music. Uh, so we want to go ahead and make different iTunes libraries. Well, instead of going through this elaborate process of uh, finding places to share it or store music, here's a basic tip. Go ahead and go down to iTunes, hold down the option key while you click iTunes, and you'll see an option appear. Alright, it says choose iTunes library. Now I can create a library, and here I can go ahead and set up another account, and here you'll see uh, here that I've already have my main iTunes folder and my wife's uh, iTunes folder. So let's go ahead, cancel out of this, and select Choose Library. Well, then I can go into my main iTunes library that I know and love, or my wife's iTunes library that she likes uh, to keep management of. So again, just real quick, and all you'll need to do to get back to it is hold down the option key, select iTunes, allow it to bounce, and it brings you to your Choose iTunes library. This is Daniel. Any questions? Daniel at DanielSellers.com. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks.